Yeah, what's up, what's up, baby, yeah. So, just to recap, we started off with a 36 volt lead acid, a nasty system in the golf cart. I went down to visit Big Battery. They showed me everything. They said, oh, we got golf cart batteries. And they were like, yo, we got the stuff for your club car. I got with Brett with Solarola. He said, I'm coming out to see you and you know, let's get some big batteries. I gotta have my power. Right, big battery. But unfortunately the lead batteries died and now we need to bring it up to speed with the lithium. So here we are, all the guys jumped on this. They got the batteries in. We have to add a couple things. Uh, we're waiting that are coming in the mail before we can start pulling wheelies. However, it's ready to go. It's gonna get cleaned up, so stay tuned and we will show you the final product here in a little bit. So that's the project right now. They're in the background over there and we're converting the Solarola golf cart to 48 volts with four 48 big batteries, baby. Cause you know I like it big. We brought the cart to big battery. We got the batteries installed. So Michael is here to help me wire it all up and get Red Foo cruising again. Brett, what did you get to convert the 48 volt to 12 volt? Uh, we have a 48 volt to 12 volt converter. So when you turn your key on, it will enable and give you like 350 watts of 12 volts. So that'll run your lights, anything 12 volts that you should need. And what's really nice about these batteries is they have a button to turn them off. Yeah. So in the old days, we used to have to wire everything hot, right? So whoops, if you make a mistake or something, it ain't pretty. These batteries are completely protected. Yeah. So I can basically, if I, if I don't happen to be here, I can walk through, through this on the phone and tell him, hey, look at this, hey, look at that. And there's really no, there's no worry about him shorting something out or something like that, because everything can easily be turned off. And if we do gotta go live, I got my big battery gloves right here. Ah, Red Foo's solar powered golf cart. That top was on an uh, ice cream truck that I built for this guy. Okay. I took it off and then I'm like, that would be perfect on a cart which I might add, has never been charged by anything other than the sun. Give me, give me three, four months. All green, all sun energy. All right, this is looking good, this is looking good. Yeah, so it was a hot day today. The sun was beating down on us and we were putting this cart together pretty much as fast as we could. Like I said before, it's really nice. You can just push a button on top of these batteries and all of the batteries will go off because they're connected through a comm, uh, which is also really nice because it goes to a display, which shows you your percentage of charge. But yeah, it's great working with Michael. Uh, we have like minds and you know, we're tossing each other tools and, and that's the beauty of this, this whole movement is doing things together. Uh, food jumping in here and there. Um, to check things out because he's going to be driving it. He's going to be swapping out a controller in it. This guy right here. Okay, I'm going to take you through the components here. On my right is a, that blue device there is a DC-DC converter. So it works for both 36 and 48 volt um, main packs. And it steps the voltage down to 12 volts for any of your 12 volt accessories that anything 12 volt um, that you might need. So basically when you turn the key on, this is activated. So it already has 48, but it's not enabled yet. So the key switch will enable it, and then it'll give 12 volts, which will turn on our main contactor. So the main contactor gives power to the motor controller. So then we're live, okay? Um, next, coming down the line, we have the positive and negative bus. So Michael brought uh, two of these, and I appreciate that because without those, this would have been a really messy setup. So um, consider that when you're doing a build to use a couple of bus bars just to keep most of that kind of small low voltage or I should say low current wiring on that. All right, moving down the line, we have the main contactor. So that keeps power from going to your motor controller. So until that main contactor drops, there's no power going to your controller. And that is controlled by the key, as I mentioned earlier. Across that main contactor, it's important to have a pre-charge resistor. Otherwise, when that main contactor drops from the battery, there's a big inrush of current to charge up the capacitors in the controller over here. You will eventually damage your main contactor. So important to have that pre-charge resistor. This one is a 10 ohm, 100 watt resistor. So probably a little bit of overkill, um, but nevertheless, it's gonna be doing its job. Next, we have the reversing contactor. A big, heavy, crazy looking thing, but what that does is that switches the field windings on the motor. So that gives us forward and reverse. And that's controlled by a switch up front here um, that is supplied with 48 volts. And it's a rocker switch with dual poles, or I should say um, single pole, a dual throw. So 
it uh, gives 48 to either one or the other portion of the reversing contactor that's going to give you forward and reverse. Here we have the motor controller. So that's the heart of the beast and that takes power from the batteries and divvies it out to your motor based on your throttle position. So it has a little potentiometer that's run by your foot which is just a little variable resistor which goes from zero to five um, kilo ohms and tells the controller, hey, I want more power. So the controller then gives power to the motor based on the position of the reversing contactor for forward or reverse. We have our big battery batteries, of course. Behind the big battery batteries, we have a Victron MPPT controller to take the solar panels up above 400 watts at 100 volts and step them down at maximum power point tracking. That means the sweet spot of the solar panels into the batteries. So we are ready to turn this thing on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the fuse in for the MPPT. And I'm gonna let Michael do the honors of turning the batteries on. There you go. That's what we expected. Yep, and there's two and a half, three amps coming in the solar, so that's all correct. Yeah. The shunt is reading the right way. 53.8 volts and rising. What are you laughing about? <laughs> it is when you build something and it's like, ah! Okay, okay. break. Break. Get in there, Foo. Yep. Okay, breaks off. Oh yeah, it does break off. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, hang on. All right, so I'm wondering, the controller, like our foot, we might be coming in with some amount of resistance and it needs to start at zero or it won't go. So probably we need to look at the controller. We have everything connected, but we're not getting power from our pedal. And we haven't used this motor controller before and we haven't plugged into it. So Foo is downloading the software for it. It's very likely a set point. Um, when you're grabbing parts from different places and different manufacturers, you, you will have to do some compatibility uh, checks to make sure that, you know, voltages, everything handles the right voltage, everything handles the right amperage. And this controller very likely is seeing either a voltage, most likely a, a voltage it doesn't like. And it's a pretty typical thing when you're grabbing different parts from different manufacturers that you need to kind of get everything to talk to each other and operate happily. It's just part of the, part of the game. Now we kind of go to the software level to look at what's going on and get everything dialed in so that when we do actually move forward, we can move forward fast. Yeah. So until next time, we'll see you by the cart. Yeah, baby. So, uh, hey man, we did it. We did it. Cling, cling. Chink, chink, chink. Clink, chink. clink. Yeah, baby. We were able to uh, download the OEM software. Then uh, we plugged it in, and while he was here, we couldn't get the cart to go. We had a zero to five kilo ohm uh, accelerator. Kilo ohm! It wouldn't work for us. Right. And normally that controller defaults to the zero setting, which is the zero to five K, but unfortunately the one that we picked up, maybe it was used or something. Woo! Whoa, whoa! Yeah, we got in there, tweaked the value, and then it worked. We were like, ah! And that feeling though, of Oof. like, wait, 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 it's moving. And then we got it, and then we just tweaked the controller settings to get, I mean, hold your coffee, but watch this acceleration. I mean, just, oh, oh you know, popping in like like a, like a Rivion or something, you know? Ah, yeah. In sport mode. We definitely Torque. got it in sport mode. But hey, hey! I want to thank, uh, you know, Solar Roll Up, Brett, Kira. I want to thank Big Battery. Big Battery? Yeah, uh, love these batteries. The Eagle 2. I believe. Yeah, the Eagle 2. See you next time. See you next time. Next build. Next build. Let's go.